All right, guys, let's get started here. So, yeah, we're uh, going to give you an update on the detail stand and what's going to be happening this year on it. Um, I'll be showing you some products that I'm going to be using midway through. I'm going to be walking through and showing you what the current detail stand setup looks like. So, yeah, guys, let's get into this video, and I'll join you guys later on through the video. That way I can show you what's going to be added and where it's going to be onto that uh, said stand. So, guys, thank you for joining me on this one, and let's get into this. Before I show you guys, let's get the suspense up, and here we go. The color I chose for it is platinum gray, or uh, platinum silver ring. It's a very, very subtle color. It kind of blends in with the back of the wall and everything, but everything is built on it, guys. All the spray guns are done. Vacuum is on there. The new dust, the new dust separators on there as well. It's got a uh, really nice cyclonic separator. I will be getting here pretty, pretty soon, soon, guys. Probably Sorry, you guys, about the audio here, but unfortunately, the uh, video kind of got distorted out a little bit with the wind that day. But yes, um, right here is going to be going the pressure washer hose reel that will be shown later on in the video. Up here next year, guys. Up in here, I'm going to be adding a 50 foot Cox vacuum hose reel. So I can re replace this down here, and this, guys, is going to be all piped in specifically to this. I'm going to run a pipe from here, back up and around, or back up and around. From here, back up and around this way, just so I can have the Cox hose rail mounted up there. This is a recent add-on. This is actually a temperature sensor and lightning detector it basically it shows up and it alerts me if there's lightning or anything in the vicinity within three miles so guys yeah it's great top of that adam's pressure wash adam's polishes professional series pressure washer holding up great uh definitely got to do an oil change on it here pretty soon so we'll do a maintenance video on how to do that but yeah the whole stand itself is painted in platinum gray Platinum silver, I should say. It looks great, and all that's great too. So as you guys can see, there's my undercarriage spray. This is, if I remember correctly, that is Silk and Shine Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution uh, Acrylic Graphene Acrylic Tire Shine. Adams Polishes Graphene Tire Shine. Adams Polishes Regular Tire Shine. This is, uh, God, what is that? Oh, chemical guys, there's a different one for that. I can't remember what it says. You got tire kicker, tire shine. All right, guys, I couldn't remember in the video at the time, but this is actually chemical guys, galactic wet look shine, tire shine. So, yeah, that's what it is. It's shine, shiny tire shine from uh, chemical guys. Um, I did have one of the spray gun here, but it decided to start leaking on me. So I got to replace that gun. Um, but, yeah. That's going to be changed. That hose is going to be changed out next year. I'm going to put Cox hose reel here, and I'm going to put probably somewhere once this hose disappears, I'm going to put a normal like uh, hose reel right there, retractable, probably a 50 foot or a 100 foot retractable hose reel right there for the hose. But yeah, this is looking good, guys. Uh, I did run into a minor problem with the low pressure hose reel. Um, I actually have to replace this hose. This hose actually burst on me and caused me to lose all pressure in that. So yeah, that's the detail stand in a nutshell, guys. It looks great. It's all set up, almost. I've got a couple more things to add to it next year, and then we'll give you an update on that. All right, guys, so as you guys saw in the previous uh, part of this video, the uh, that's what the current detail stand looks like. We are going to get into what uh, additional pieces are going to be going on to it now. I uh, In the video, I do show and point to where the items are going and what might be there, but let's show you what it actually is going there. So, 
this is going to be the water hose reel that I'm using for just low pressure, rinsing, like that kind of stuff, filling buckets. I uh, have a 50 foot hose on there right now, it's just wound up and on a, on a hook thing, and I'm trying to get that replaced with one of these. So, it's a Draft Tools 78 foot by half inch hose. It should provide enough flow and everything for everything. It's about 142 bucks on Amazon at the current point in time, guys. The next thing we're going to be looking at is this is going to be the hose reel. It's a Cox hose with a Syntec 50 foot wet dry shop vac hose on it as well, guys. These are a little bit more pricey. It already comes with the hose and all those accessories that are shown. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be on the. Uh, I think I'm going to put it on the top bar on this thing just to give it a little bit extra room on the rest of the rest of the stuff up there. So, guys, let's go to the next item that we're putting on and we'll get there here in a second. This is going to be the spray bottle holder. I'm either going to do the, um, probably going to do this on the wall or right next to it above the compressor. So, um, just this is just an idea for what I want to do right now. I am going to be replacing the water filter system that is on it with a uh, RV so water filter sore filters. From what I can tell, these are probably one of the better filters out there right now and easier stuff to get a hold of. Um, this one actually does filter a lot better than what I have right now. I have a Hydrophonics uh, Camco system on there right now. It's a two-stage filter. Uh, first stage is like a, I think it's a 20 micron spun filter, and then the other is a uh, five micron. Uh, carbon block filter so this is going to replace that hopefully I can get better water out of it and a lot cleaner water the next one we're going to be showing you guys is the spin down filter that's going to be going before the water filter guys this water filter should work pretty good it should provide me with enough flow for my pressure washer and my hose um, I will be adding later on um, the Adams Pro portable uh, spotless water denier there. This is only going to be attached to the pressure washer hose. It's not going to be attached to anything else. Um, this will be after the filters, but before the pressure washer. So all water going through the pressure washer will be deionized water with no contaminants in it at all. Um, the other thing that's going to be added is going to be the Adams 100 foot pressure washer hose reel, and I'm going to be getting their 100 foot pressure washer hose because it's it's just compatible with what I've already got, guys. So this is actually a Cox hose reel that Adams Polishes has made specifically for them in their specific color. Um, what I'm going to do is this is going to be piped directly into my pressure washer. And from there, guys, we will be putting the 100-foot uh, hose on it so that I have plenty of room to play around with and plenty of uh, space to work with. This is going to go on that side of the stand where it's facing towards the garage door. I'm hoping it should fit. It should but we will find out um, from there guys. I might be doing this on uh, somewhere else in the garage or maybe inside the house someplace. Uh, this is actually a, <laughs> of all things, it's a draft tools uh, vacuum cleaner with a retractable hose. You can either get it with a remote control or without it. Um, honestly, I might go with the remote control somewhere in the garage or something like that. Um, this thing's apparently from what I've seen and heard, this thing's got some good suction and it's, not bad for price guys it's a retractable 30 foot hose it stores everything in itself the filters and everything are included with it so yeah um from there guys that's what we're looking at for the future of this stand um so yeah just keep on joining me guys in these videos and we'll just keep getting the updates on everything as we go along so guys have a nice day now and talk to you later All right, guys, tell me what you thought of the video in the comments. If you liked it, give me a like. If you want to subscribe, definitely subscribe. I noticed a lot of my viewers are not uh, are not subscribed to my videos. Um, I have about 75% of my views are from uh, non-subscribed subscribers. So, guys, subscribe, please, and uh, keep watching my videos. The more you guys subscribe, the better content I can bring you guys. So, yeah, come on and subscribe. Join me for the next videos. And thank you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and do whatever you want to do. Have a nice day.